according as his work shall be. Everybody going to receive according as your work shall be. Because they tell you, you know, you ain't got to do no work. But if you're going to get a reward, you got to do some work, right? Yes, sir. Because I'm going to give every man according as his work shall be. You know, you're going to get a good reward or you're going to get an evil reward, but you're going to get a, you're going to get paid. Right. I promise you're going to get paid. Yeah. Go ahead, read on. I am Alpha and Omega. Go ahead, read. The beginning and the end. Go ahead, read. The first and the last. Uh -huh. Blessed are, all, are they that do his commandments. See what I'm saying now? Blessed are they that do his commandments. Go ahead, read on. That they may have right to the tree of life uh -huh. and may enter in through the gates into the city. Now, if you want your right to the tree of life, this is what you have to do. You have to obey God's commandment. That is how you eat of the tree of life. You eat of the tree of life by being obedient. Hearing his word first mm -hmm. and then being obedient unto it. Skip down to uh, verse 17. Go ahead and read. And the spirit and the bride say, come. Go ahead. And let him that heareth say, come. Uh -huh. And let him that is a thirst come. He was saying, and let him that is a thirst come. Go ahead and read. And whosoever will, let him take the water of life freely. Now, and whosoever will, let him take of the water of life freely. It is free. Isaiah told you it was free, didn't he? I say, say, you ain't got to, why are you spending your money for that which is not free? You know, come unto me and hearken and you shall live. So now, come and this water of life, it is free. Let's go now to, uh, let's go now to uh, uh, Deuteronomy chapter uh, 30. And we began reading at uh, verse 10. Deuteronomy chapter 30. And we're going to pick it up at verse 10. You know, from the very start, the Lord gave man a choice, didn't he? He, yes, told, uh, he told Adam, he said, you know, I set before you uh, the tree of life and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And the day that you eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, that is the day that you are going to die. So now he had a choice, didn't he? That's right. And then even uh, Canaan had a choice, didn't he? He told Cain, if you do well, you shall be accepted, but if not, then sin lies at the door. Now, if you want to be accepted, all you have to do was do well. But he said, if you choose not to, then sin lies at the door. And, and we know what a sin has conceived. What does it bring forth? It brings forth death. Let's start reading here at uh, 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 Deuteronomy chapter 30 and began reading at verse 10. Look at how the Lord had Moses to put this thing. 30 and 10. Go ahead and read. If thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God uh -huh. to keep his commandments, See what he said, if you will just listen to the voice of the Lord your God to keep his commandments, go ahead and read. And his statutes uh -huh. which are written in this book of the law. Uh -huh. And if thou turn unto the Lord thy God with all thine heart and with all thy soul. See what he said, if you uh, will keep them commandments that are written in the book of the law and turn unto him with all your heart. And with all your soul, go ahead and read. For this commandment which I command thee this day, uh -huh. it is not hidden from thee, neither is it far off. See, this thing, it ain't hid from you, and neither is it far off. Guess what? You got to sit right there in your lap. All you got to do is read it and obey it. That's all that you have to do. Go ahead and continue reading. It is not in heaven that thou shouldest say, who shall go up for us to heaven and so, bring... You know, it ain't in heaven that you got to say, well, look here, I, I got to send somebody up to heaven to get it for me and bring it back to me that I might hear it and do it. Go ahead and read on. Neither is it beyond the sea that thou shouldest say, who shall go over the sea for us and bring it unto us that we may hear it and do it. And neither do you have to send way across the sea anywhere to get this thing that you might hear it and that you might do it. Go ahead and read. But the word is very nigh unto thee uh -huh. in thy mouth and in thy heart go that ahead. thou mayest do it. See, I have set before thee this day life and good and death and evil. See what the Lord said he said before. Now he's saying about the mouth of Moses. I set before you life and death and good and evil. But he's going to even suggest what it is that he should choose. Go ahead and read on. In that I command thee this day to love the Lord thy God, to walk in his ways, and to keep his commandments and his statutes. Well, that's how you love the Lord, isn't it? Yes, sir. And Jesus said, you love me, obey my commandments. And then uh, John even wrote in the book of John, if you love God, obey his commandments. Yes, sir. So now, you know, ain't nothing being said in the Old Testament that was not said in the New Testament. Because the same one that gave you the old, he is the same one that gave you the new. Yes, sir. That you love the Lord your God and obey his commandments. Go ahead and read up. And his judgments 
that thou mayest live and multiply. And the Lord thy God shall bless thee in the land whither thou goest to possess it. But if thine heart turn away, so that thou wilt not hear, but shalt shall be drawn away and worship other gods and serve them, uh -huh. I denounce unto you this day that ye shall surely perish, uh -huh. and that ye shall not prolong your days upon the land, whither thou passest over Jordan to go to possess it. Uh -huh. I call heaven and earth to, rec to record this day Good. against you, uh -huh. that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. See what they I call heaven to record. Uh, but before you this day, I have set before you life, and death and blessing and cursing. Go ahead, read on. Therefore choose life, that both thou and thy seed may live. He said, therefore choose life, that you and your seed might live. But how do you choose life? By being obedient unto yes, the sir. commandments, That's right? right, brother. Let's go, to, uh, let's go, we got two other places. Let's go to Revelation chapter 21, and we'll begin at verse 13. Revelation 21, and we'll begin at verse 13. 21 and 13. 21 and 13. No, no, I'm sorry. 21 and 3. 21 and 3. Okay. Go ahead, read. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, uh -huh. Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, Go ahead. and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. And God Himself shall be with them and be their God. This is this uh, city of gold that we all heard about all our life, especially if you're old time like me. You know they used to sing songs about it in the church. You know about the walks in the streets of gold. But and this is when God Himself, the Father Himself, is going to come down and dwell with man. Go ahead, read on. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. Go ahead. And there shall be no more death, uh -huh. neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain. For the former things are passed away. Go ahead. And he that sat upon the 